ChrisHerfordTechTablets.com with the Zeus T100HA unboxing here. I've waited a little while for this one. It's very hard to get hold of at the moment, and I only managed to get this version here, which is the French version, unfortunately. So I'm going to have the French keyboard. Anyway, this is now powered by the Cherry Trail Atom, so it's the latest generation Atom, and it runs at 2.24 gigahertz, and it's the X5Z8500. So it's the same CPU that I tested in my X98 Pro, the tech class Chinese tablet. So I'm very interested to compare those two models, which I will do later on. So let's have a quick look here at the box. Nice looking box. And it does list out a few specs here on the back here. So just basically that it's the 64 gigabyte version here that I bought. And it has USB 3.1, USB 2 on the dock and micro USB, I think, which is for charging. Uh, which is a little bit unfortunate because that's going to be a little bit slow. So let's get the box open here and have a look, break the seal there and have a look inside at the tablet and search of incredible there written on the back. Let's see quite a premium boxing here, nothing like what I normally get from the Chinese tablets I normally review. So the tablet just put that aside there, it's come already docked, this is the, the power supply they've included, um, the EU one of course here because I'm in Europe and it's rated to 5 volts. 2 amps, so just like those Chinese tablets I see, same rating there, and there should be a USB cable in here, I guess that's oh, it's come out of the box, and they're giving me here just a standard USB, micro USB cable, so not the type C one, I wonder if that is included, uh, no nothing else, so it would seem not, they haven't included a USB type C USB 3.1 cable there for me which is a little bit disappointing okay so I'm just gonna get the box out of the way here and move on to the tablet and just get this out of its protective sleeve here okay so it's in a gunmetal gray kind of color metallic gray and the back here seems to be I would say that's a type of aluminium there, so they used a metal housing. Okay, so looking at the rear of the tablet here, we have a 5 megapixel camera. I'll have to find out whether this is an autofocusing one or not, but I assume it is. It should definitely be, so we can at least get some macro shots on this. And we also have our speakers left and right there. There's one grill here and another here in the bottom. Now, I thought originally this was metal, but I think it's it actually feels like it could be plastic here, the backing material on this. I'll see if I can try and confirm that. And right up here we have two slots here. You can see these are obviously microphones there for Skype, webcam, web chat. And we do have a small LED here. It'll probably be a power on status LED for charging and when the tablet is on. And we'll no doubt flash when it's in standby. And of course the power button here. Now if I just quickly undock the tablet. And it docks in there quite nicely actually. I can feel that there are magnets within it there that help sort of pull it together. So it does have a nice quality feel to it. And there doesn't seem to be too much of a wiggle and jiggle around there. A little bit of movement there, but it doesn't seem to be that bad. And of course moving it just like the T100 T8, when you do move it back, that actually raises the keyboard. You can see there, raises that up nicely. Now on the left side of the tablet, just have a look here, we have the USB 3.1 C connector, type C connector there. And unfortunately there is no included adapter and the volume up and down. So I have to find out whether I was meant to have an adapter in the pack or not. It's a little bit disappointing to see there isn't one. And the bezel around here, you can see this is this is definitely metal here along the, the rim here, the bezel. And the bottom here we have the docking port connector for the keyboard there. And this is where it slots on those two metal tabs there to help support the tablet. And around on the right side we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there, micro USB. This will be for charging, and possibly we'll be able to use this for data as well. I'll have to test that out. And a micro HDMI port there, as well as micro SD. So we can chuck in a micro SD card there. Hopefully this will support up to 128 gigabytes. I'll have to test that out. And the front facing camera right here we have, 
So it's a two megapixel one, and by the looks of it here, a status LED, which will no doubt flash when the cameras are in use to let you know. So you can see the bezels are rather large there, but it does look like it is definitely a laminated, fully laminated dis display here, which is good to see. So there's no gap between the uh, IPS panel below and the touch digitizer glass here. So I'll just have a quick look now at the thickness of the tablet and the weight. And it is around about, looks like about just under maybe a fraction under eight millimeters in thickness there, the tablet. And those bezels, just have a look at what the bezel there on the left and right is approximately about 20 millimeters bezel. And the upper and bottom bezels are about 17 millimeters there by the looks of it. Now have a look at the weight. So see just what the tablet weighs just by itself. And then with the keyboard included attached to it. So the tablet weight is 589 grams there. That's not a bad weight at all, it's not too bad. And the keyboard weight, 481 there. So have a look now at the combined weight. Oops, if I can just dock this correctly. Combined weight of 1.07 kilos. So that's not too bad. And I have a look at the thickness. Thickness comes in at around about let's have a look there, 15, 16 millimeters there, both the tablet and keyboard dock together. So I'll just quickly power it up here and it did in fact have English on there which is good to see though I don't need to download any language packs here although my keyboard of course is definitely in French as you can see there different layout completely. Uh, the screen is is uh, I can confirm now it is fully laminated so there's no gap there at all which is good to see but that lower resolution of 1280 by 800 could bother some people it's not exactly flagship kind of resolution there or pixel density I'll just undock that and quickly show you the screen here I hope it's going to be picked up you can see some of those pixels there and very reflective as you can see all tablets are and there is a tiny little trackpad here left and right mouse clicks and there's nothing there's a USB 2 port here so you can hook up a mouse obviously and there seems to be nothing else on the actual keyboard dock here so nothing else and just redock that and it does it doesn't seem like it's going to tip back but if you do push against that screen it might be easy actually to have it flop down there there's probably a counterweight within here, but not really that heavy, the counterweight, I think. If they do have one within the actual keyboard dock, which they would do probably, it doesn't seem to be that heavy to keep the weight down. So you can have a look at that's the fixed angle you get there on the keyboard. And it shuts up nicely. So when you do open it, it will change that angle of the keyboard. And it doesn't look like you can't actually open that up with one hand. So you do get reasonably good height there so it raises it up by probably about 10 millimeters or so here the keyboard angle there to type on now there is a bit of bounce in the keyboard I've just noticed just like the older models the earlier models there is some bounce there with the keyboard typing on it you can probably just hopefully pick that up there's a little bit there and those keys are smaller so it's a smaller size keyboard the ASUS have done a pretty good job being able to cram this into a 10 point one inch uh, chassis here isn't bad at all and their trackpad is rather large there and I will do some further testing on this and have a review as well as hands-on in Windows once I get it all set up I'll run some benchmarks and keep an eye on the temperature too of that Cherry Trail chipset to see just how hot it gets thank you for watching this unboxing and quick hands-on video here if you are interested in this model do stay tuned to my channel I have many up-and-coming videos of this one hopefully catch you in those videos bye for now